Oh, no, it was confessions. They played Usher confessions. Oh, Confess that that Lifetime Achievement Award was a hush payment for your f asshole and all of the many years of abuse. Cause that, oh. that wasn't no Lifetime. I'm still mad. People say, "Why are you saying that about Usher?" Oh. So I'm mad. Shit. I'm mad that people. I'm mad that people aren't more mad at Usher. Because somewhere along the way, he went from a victim to a procurer to a head turner. If the Fed subpoena me, I have the right to invoke my constitutional right. What's wrong with saying I saw a check that somebody showed me for a million dollars? I said it on YouTube. Do you think it's possible that they can tie Diddy to it? Keefe D has to prove to the jury that he had a relationship with Sean Puffy Cole. Jaguar Wright has caused a stir in the industry with some serious accusations against Diddy. In a bold move, she stepped up, saying she's experienced years of exploitation and control. She's exposed what she claims to be the darker side of Diddy's business, pointing to questionable actions and how artists were treated unfairly. Oh! My God. My God. Uh, Which camera am I today? Man, all of them. All of them. I mean, look, Jag, you're looking radiant as always. Thank um, you. You love, yeah, love the, the African bar. As a matter of fact, you got. It, it seems before we get started, it seems like you did a little touch up. It, it, did, you, did you? Oh no, I just put on a little Fenty. Oh. In honor of Rihanna today. Oh. Um, I wanted to wear the prison. Wow. I wanted people to see what her prison looks like. That's a billion dollar prison though. Yeah. I mean. Shame she ain't got no control over it. If she did, ASAP Rocky would be driving different cars than he is. See, when they make you look at it, when they make you look at it, what? So, so hold on, wait, wait. So Rihanna has Fenty. Mm -hmm. um, Just like. Uh, What's the Bebe, 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 Bebe got the, uh, she got the Mercy. Was it the Cersei Mercy? Yeah, um, the Kylie Jenner, that's her name. Kylie Jenner. Yeah, she going broke. Damn it, she has to You didn't hear? Uh, Ain't nobody buying that shit no more. Travis stopped one up and everybody stopped one up makeup. Yeah. Come to find out they wasn't even living together. It was all a front. She bought the house so people would think he lived there, but he's done come out and said he'd much rather have Marilyn Manson. And uh, well, that was getting him somewhere. <laughs> I mean, him and, again, I go back to him and Tiger had a whole fight. Maybe not over her, but they had a whole fight. Do you believe in that Timothy Chalamet too? Oh. You think he likes her? I like Doom too. Um, all right, uh, Jaguar back on the couch. <laughs> Hey. On the couch wearing shoes. Don't you get, but those that always love to. Oh, see? See what the. Yeah, see my feet? The <laughs> Do they look dirty? Because they say I always have my dirty feet on the couch. We don't pay no attention. That's what Dad. they say. So guess what? I wore shoes. Come on now. Come on now. Wright's claims reveal a troubling pattern, accusing Diddy of using his power to take advantage of and mistreat artists. She paints him as someone motivated by self-interest and a constant need for control. Her testimony intensifies the controversy already swirling around Diddy, adding weight to the rumors and concerns that have been circulating for years. Um, first and foremost, you know, some people always want to say, hey, Jaguar comes on his couch, uh, how does she know? Again, we, we are talking about this, and we are talking about how you know, but it's more so how much do you know now? <laughs> and <laughs> Isn't it funny every time we meet somebody new that I put all of us in, in the soup with, every time I talk to them, doesn't it seem like I always seem to know something they think I shouldn't or didn't think that I would know? Every <laughs> single time. Every single <laughs> time. <laughs> <She's> like, <laughs> And those who ask. You want to know what's funny? If I was from London and I was Caucasian and my name was Sloan, people would be okay with it. Nice. Come on. You want to know what's on. funny?
to be acknowledged by a psychic as being accurate and people still calling me a liar, but they'll believe her. You'll, you'll believe the psychic that got her information from the ether somewhere, but the person who was actually there is the liar. That's weird. Is it the delivery? Is it the... No, I think it's the payment. I think Sean Carter has been paying a lot of money to get people to say whatever he wants them to say because that's his greatest talent. Even down to the company that we're working with or been working with right now, view it. We have undeniable evidence that they took money to sideline Jag, to sideline real Jag, to turn away members to make it look like people aren't interested, to owe us six figures and refuse to pay us even though we they know we have a lawyer to pay. Even though they sat there and said, you need to stop working with real life. They don't have your best interest at all. They're not paying you what, they're, what you're worth. You should get away from, can you bring them here? Would they be interested in coming here? Yeah. New details suggest Diddy's reach goes even deeper into the hidden corners of the industry, pointing to secret connections and revelations now coming out in court. If these accusations hold up, they could seriously affect how the public views him and leave a lasting mark on his reputation, possibly reshaping his entire legacy. Where there are people who are supposed to be billionaires, and one of the owners looks like he could be Lior Cohen's first cousin. Interesting. So, Jack, before we bring up these big names, let me ask you, why go after the big names? If they may have the power to silence you going after them. Because guess what? If I win, then I win. But I'd rather go down losing with a voice. It might embolden other people to come forward and speak up and see one Jaguar right is a problem. Imagine a thousand. You, see, you seem to have opened up. Again, we just spoke with Jonathan Hay and yeah. he thanked you for bringing his voice to light because he has stories that goes way back to the early days of Rihanna. That's my I. job. And he said he you gave him the courage. What did I tell y'all when we first sat here? I'm gonna keep talking until everyone else is so loud that they can't hear me no more. That's my job. That's to make sure that I'm not being drowned out by lies, but I'm being drowned out by the rest of the truth. That's the that's the gig. And after talking with him tonight, I think our relationship is hitting another plateau. Because y'all have been listening to me tell y'all these things and y'all been hearing everybody calling us liars for doing and saying what we did. And now here is a man that was there. What happens next? Is he gonna be a liar too? The explosive claims against Diddy are expected to lead to a deeper investigation into his business activities as the case moves forward. Both the public and authorities will be closely watching him. If the allegations are confirmed, Diddy could face major legal trouble, and the industry may be forced to rethink his role and power. He wasn't only groomed by Diddy, he was uh, groomed by L.A. Reid, the rest of them too, man. Because they knew what happened. Then they came out and brought him back and all of a sudden he's getting all the great tracks. He's getting all the songs. They making him into this star even though he may have been abused. They seem to be pretty good friends. Well, they probably is. I mean, they did a lot of work together, man, throughout their whole career. You know, Puff was Bruh. early, early in his career. Puff and Usher were working together when Usher was just a kid all the way up. I mean, you know, I, I think there's videos from not too long ago when they were they were together. And 
You know, Puff is making jokes about how they used to wrestle for the Frosted Flakes in the morning. And, yeah, I bet they did. You know. Somebody frosted you know, some, somebody frosted somebody flakes. <laughs> Without the milk. <laughs> what do you think it is that keeps Usher from coming out or saying anything? Because, yo, dog, he, it, it's, it's, you gotta realize in that industry, a lot of people are stand back and say, well, it happened to me. That's how some of them people pay their dues. And the people who don't go down like that don't be as great as the ushers, as the ditties. It's a way of passage to certain people in the entertainment business. With all these people coming out against Diddy, do you think more people are gonna come out? It's a lot of people that, you know, see you gotta realize is that everybody think, oh, everybody's coming out now. It's a lot of people that wanted to bring stuff out long time ago, but the lawyers wouldn't take it. The lawyers wouldn't deal with it. Cassie opened up a floodgate for lawyers to look at people's cases now and say, yeah, we might can get some money out of that. We might can do that. Yeah, he did abuse you. Nobody really cared at first. But now they see that a lot of this stuff may have some truth to it and the people can be paid for it. They coming out. I've seen that you've actually talked to some victims behind the scenes. Yep. Jaguar Wright has made bold claims linking both Usher and Diddy to questionable actions in the music industry. She alleges that Diddy had a strong hold over Usher's career from an early age, taking advantage of their mentor-mentee relationship. Wright hints that Usher may have been pulled into uncomfortable situations because of Diddy's control, suggesting a harmful power dynamic. Her accusations imply that Diddy's influence went beyond just shaping careers, possibly involving manipulative behaviors that hurt those close to him. So we got the Beyonce playman. No, no. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, but it had all of the freak on victims on it. You know, Usher was on, like, we were just sitting up there. Who's the next victim on the playlist? And he, you won't break my soul. <laughs> you won't break my soul. Damn. <laughs> Can we talk? No, let me stop. Yo, let me stop. Let me stop. Yo, no. Let me stop. No, it was confessions. They played Usher confessions. Ah, Confess that that Lifetime Achievement Award was a hush payment okay. for your asshole and all of the many years of abuse. Because that ah, wasn't no Lifetime. Yeah. I'm still mad. People say, like, why are you saying that about Usher? Oh, okay. So, I'm mad. I'm shit. mad that people. I'm mad that people aren't more mad at Usher. For, for what? Because somewhere along the way, he went from a victim to a procurer to a head turner. Like, let's just be honest about Usher. Is he a victim, or is he a cooperate agent? I think we saw the moment he turned into. Let's be honest. It's when, it's when Diddy put his arm around him and said. We all know hey. that that chili sh was a PR relationship. We know that, right? That chili sh wasn't real. Uh, what, what, him and chili. Oh yeah, you said chili, that wasn't That wasn't, mm -hmm. who believes that that was real? I, I, I don't, hands? No hands, okay, all right. Now, it all look cute, older, hot, sexy woman, younger guy. And both very good looking people. Yes. So the fuck did he end up with that bitch after that? <laughs> Let's be clear. He was still a young man. Let's be clear. He was still a young man and he was us. Just so if there was vanity involved, how the fuck do you go from chili to bitch? And don't say it's true love. 
if she was I tell you what I do know. I tell you how I know how he goes from chili to that. Jaguar Wright's accusations reveal a deeply unsettling view of the music industry, centering on Usher's mentorship with Diddy. She claims Diddy fostered a toxic environment where the boundaries between guidance and exploitation became unclear. Her allegations hint at a complicated and potentially dark relationship between Usher and Diddy that extended beyond just music, sparking serious concerns about manipulation and abuse of power. <laughs> These motherfuckers, shit. they do all of this wild shit, G. Women are props or procurers. Pretend to be my girlfriend and bring us more victims. Carisha. And that, she and just, that interview. She just, um, she said, I'm gonna do, before I bring out season two, I'm gonna bring myself to the red table. I mean, not the red table. See? Carisha, it, please. No, 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 you said but, it right. Yes. <laughs> Boom! Yes, she did the same thing. The, 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 the Carisha, the red, all of that. And did he, did, did he up everybody but you, huh? Yeah, she said he I didn't see everybody none of that. ass. I didn't see none of that. You know who she sounds like? His real lover, Stevie J. They sound like they got the same script. <laughs> you know, it's hard to say that. Stevie J ready to go to blows and get his ass whooped by 50. You ain't fighting nothing but a condom. <laughs> and he struggles to keep them on. Like this, like this nigga's dirty as <laughs> So it's Stevie junk. What did Stevie you Stevie jerk? Like what? the I don't know. What did you expect from Carisha on her own show to talk about? I expected her to not get on that show. I expected her to go away. I expect her to keep running around in underwear and playing card games where she can't even read the numbers and, and read the f on the wheel. Like, please be a whore. Like, just stop. Like, this is the thing. This the thing. <laughs> Everybody's gonna be mad. And I don't get no fuck. Really, let's be clear. Jaguar writes, serious accusations against Diddy have sparked significant concern, alleging that he has cultivated an environment of manipulation and exploitation in the music industry. She claims that Diddy's actions go beyond just exerting control over artists, hinting at darker activities, including the mistreatment of women. Her statements contribute to the growing evidence of systemic abuse in the industry, shedding light on how powerful individuals like Diddy allegedly exploit their influence to harm and silence those who are most vulnerable.